Hello YouTube and welcome back to Friday Minis. Now today let's talk security. In particular, there is a little bit of confusion between two different types of technologies with similar applications and that is the main issue I want to address today. What is the difference between encryption and a cryptographic hash? First, let's take a look at how these two techniques are similar. The idea, the actual premise behind these are the same. That is, I have a piece of information I want to keep secret. I'm going to actually use a certain way to scramble this information such that the result of this, even if lost, will not actually tell you anything about you know, what the original secret information was. That, however, is where the similarity ends. The prime difference between a cryptographic hash and an encryption is the fact that for one of them, you can actually get the data back out of the scrambled data and for the other, you can't. If you take a piece of information and you run it through a crypto hash, you will not be able to get your original information out of that. The main reason for that is simple. You see, the scrambling process done by a cryptographic hash is actually one of hashing. The premise behind hashing is this. I have a huge range of possibilities of input data and I'm going to map it to a smaller range of output. Now, what this means is that since you are mapping a large number of items to a smaller number of items, multiple input items may give you the same output item. And as a result, having just the output item doesn't give you enough information to actually undo this to get the original piece of information. Encryption, on the other hand, actually scrambles data in a predictable and recoverable kind of way. Essentially, it does something, it rearranges, it transposes data, but at the end of the day, if you have the right key, you will be able to actually reverse this process and get that information out of there. Now, what are some applications of each of these methods? First, passwords are actually stored in their cryptographically hashed form. Obviously, servers cannot store your password in plain text in case, you know, they get hacked, but they have to store it somehow so that they can authenticate you when you log in. Since the hash version of your password is stored, essentially, when you key in your password when you want to log in, they will put that through the hash as well. They will then try to see if that actually matches, you know, what is stored in the database. And if it does, well, you're the correct person. Encryption, on the other hand, is normally used to encrypt entire files. If you're doing some kind of top secret operation and you, you know, have a top secret file, you can actually encrypt that and send it to the other person. If they have the key, they will then be able to decrypt that file and essentially get to see what you're trying to send them. Anyway, that's all there is for this episode of Friday Minis. As always, don't forget to like, comment, favorite, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter. You're watching 0612 TV.